In a prior video, I used a Scopes FFT and I traced a signal through the transmit chain and I found uh, that the uh, output from the bandpass filter is uh, minus 36 dBm. So what I need to do now is I need to determine how much drive I need to apply to the uh, uh, power amp to actually get 5 watts out. I need to figure out if this 36 dBm is sufficient or if I need some, ampl some additional amplification to bring this up to a level that's going to drive 5 watts out of the power amp. So in this setup I have got the input to the power amp connected to a variable attenuator and connected to the SNA and the SNA as before as in all my prior videos generating 7 megahertz uh, coming out going through the attenuator being fed in here and then I have got uh, two scopes I've got one scope here connected its probe connected to the output of the uh, power amp and the input to the bandpass filter and then I've got a um, second scope my signal and scope with the FFT connected to the output of the uh, bandpass filter and the output of the bandpass filter is also terminated to my 50 ohm terminator uh, here. I'm going to start off with uh, 25 dB of attenuation between the SNA and the input to the uh, power amp and uh, let's go take a look and see what output we're getting from that on the scope. So right now um, my uh, INS, Instec scope is just measuring the voltage uh, that's coming out of the uh, power amp and into the low pass filter and my signalant scope is going to be doing an FFT on the output of the uh, uh, bandpass filter which is going into the dummy load. So I'm going to go ahead and turn on the amplifier. So there the amplifier is turned on and we can see we have a voltage here. Uh, peak to peak voltage is 13 volts peak to peak. And here we're seeing a signal coming out. And it's approximately uh, 22 plus 22 uh, dBm. So I know that I need 37 dBm coming out. To, to be 5 watts, so um, my signal is saying it's 22 dBm, my instec is saying it's uh, uh, 13 volts peak to peak, so let's uh, do a calculation to see whether this measurement agrees with that measurement. So what I use, I use a website here uh, from, from Core Group, and uh, I can plug in the peak-to-peak uh, -peak voltage and it's going to calculate the dBm reading into a 50 ohm. So it's that peak-to-peak -peak voltage being fed into that impedance is generating that much dBm. So at 13 volts peak-to-peak -peak, we're saying about 26 uh, dBm. The uh, signalant is saying it's 22 and as you can see here, it's, there's a little bit of a gap there, so we're off a little bit. But you can see both scopes are agreeing with it. So it's around 22-ish uh, dBm coming out. So we've got a ways to go. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn my cursor here to go up to 37. So right there that level there is saying it's 37 dBm and I know once that peak comes up to there it'll be 5 watts so what I need to do now is just go and adjust the um, uh, attenuation to get that uh, vol to get that peak up there. I had to turn off the amplifier there for a second just to uh, get it to cool off to make sure it doesn't overheat but I'm going to go ahead now and start reducing the attenuation so we're at 25. I'm going to take it to 20. So you see it's come up a little bit. Let's take it down to 15. It 
seats come up a little bit more. So let's take it down to 10. So there it is at 10, and you can see that it's coming up here now. And I know also that uh, to get um, to get five watts out, we need about 44 volts uh, peak to peak here. So if I go on my cursors here and I uh, set to measure what the peak to peak voltage is here. So right now it's saying about 49 volts peak to peak and this is saying it's about 37 dBm. So we probably got about 5 watts coming out and right there the current being drawn by the IRF 510 is about 780 uh, milliamps. And if I feel my heat sink Heat sink's getting quite hot. If I hold my hand there for two seconds, I have to let go. It gets uh, pretty hot. Yep, so my heat sink's here getting quite warm. So it looks as if, uh, you know, it's putting out uh, uh, some power there. So I think everything is in agreement that I'm getting about 5 watts uh, coming out there. I've now moved the signal and scope probe to the input of the power amp, so I'm going to measure what power level, what signal level I have coming in here with uh, 10 dB of attenuation that's uh, driving 5 watts out of this amp. So I'm going to go ahead and turn the amp on. And uh, this has fallen off the face of the earth, so I have to go and set my reference level here to bring that peak up. So there it is. And uh, let me get my cursor and move my cursor down. So right there it's saying it's minus 28 dBm. So I need approximately 28 dBm to drive the power amp and previously, I measured uh, about 36 dBm coming out of the, the bandpass filter. So I need approximately about 8 dBm. So, uh, you know, around 8 to 10 uh, dB of uh, amplification now to drive the uh, power amp to get 5 watts coming out of the transceiver.